Welcome back. Over the past decade, DNA testing has become a tool for millions to discover their roots. And as a continuation on the topic of descendants of the secret Jews all over the world, we are thrilled to be joined by Max Blankfeld, the co-founder of Family Tree DNA and Gene by Gene. Hello and uh, welcome. Thank you for having me here. Thank you. It's so interesting. I myself have done Family Tree DNA and you hear about something that we didn't hear too much about 10 years ago and now it is the topic everywhere. How has having access to this technology opened up such a huge uh, new age era of discovery, people finding out that they actually have Jewish ancestry? Yeah, originally this test was, uh, had the purpose of uh, finding relatives of individuals that could not uh, use any more paper trail in order to find their relatives. Mm -hmm. Uh, but then we started receiving requests from people asking, uh, can I find if I have uh, Jewish ancestry? Can I have if I have uh, Native American ancestry? And so uh, people that were eager to know more about their past and their ancestral origins started coming to us. And uh, indeed, through DNA tests, you are able to find uh, the ancestral origins of your paternal line, of your maternal line, and overall, the ancestral origins, the composition of your ancestral origins of all your lines. I know you have some really interesting examples when, of uh, people like in Brazil, and you even said mm -hmm. even in New Mexico, uh, mm -hmm. an actual mm -hmm. priest of, of people discovering. Give an example of what, what that discovery has meant to them individually. Well, I'll, I'll tell you a, a short story about someone that uh, many years ago sent me an email from Brazil uh, the person has done, had done the test, and uh, he asked me whether he had Arab ancestry. And I looked at uh, his DNA results, and I told him, uh, I believe, I wrote him back, I believe that rather than having Arab ancestry, you have Jewish ancestry. I came home in the evening, I told this story to my wife, she said, you're crazy. He's asking if he's Arab, you're telling him he's <laughs> Jewish. Uh, next morning, I get an email from him where he says, thank you so much. This is the answering I was waiting all my life for. Wow. Shalom. It, it, it's really, I mean, it's really it's amazing. So it's if anything is validation right? that you're doing something, I mean, you're able to change people's yeah. lives. Indeed, and, and every week we have people approaching us and asking us, you know, I've heard stories or I have this feeling, is this something that I could take a DNA test and find out? Uh, you know, we had another situation where a group from a church in New Mexico, many, many year, years ago, actually, they were one of the first to get tested with us. Uh, the priest's name was Father Sanchez, and he did the test, and they found that indeed they had this maternal ancestral origins that was uh, tied to Jewish ancestry. And several, he asked several of his members of his congregation to take the test, a few of them yes, of, uh, others not. But it's, uh, it's really amazing to see all these people coming to us and uh, wanting to know if they have Jewish ancestry. Some of them, once they find that they have Jewish ancestry, they ask, uh, is this accepted in Israel for me to be able to immigrate to Israel? Hmm. That's, the, that's gonna be the next topic of, you know, what does that mean? Give quickly kind of the outcome. So as more and more people, you know, we hear in, our, in all of our prophecies in Isaiah, the bringing of the exiles, you know, this is an opportunity to bring in those that were kicked out. But, you know, as far as, you know, being able to do this test and more and more people finding out what are the end results? It's not about us saying, hey, hey, welcome to the club, you're also of Jewish ancestry. I mean, there's also overall implications, both spiritually and also geopolitically. You think it could help get rid of anti-Semitism in, in the long run? Undoubtedly. I mean, uh, it's something that uh, could help uh, to get rid of anti-Semitism, especially if people that, that are anti-Semites and they do the test and they find that they have, uh, uh, you know, Jewish ancestry. A few years ago, there was a study that, has been, that was done by a think tank here at the uh, University of uh, Jerusalem, at the Hebrew University, the JPPI, that suggested that perhaps uh, this should be one of the ways uh, to get people closer to Israel and uh, to appreciate Judaism and, and uh, be less anti-Semitic, not, not be anti-Semitic, by testing themselves and finding about uh, possible Jewish ancestry. It is just so fascinating, it's, and I know the beginning of, of so much more and so many more advancements even in, in DNA. I mean, I know right now it's hard to connect 
you know, genealogy back 500 years, but do you anticipate in the next several years the, the technology will be more advanced to help people even go back that far to their own families? Well, I imagine that there is still a lot to be discovered. If you look at the beginnings, 20 years ago when we started this entire a industry, actually, uh, we started with one single test. And now you have multiple tests that in the, in, at that time we never thought that it would be possible. So the way that technology is progressing, there is no doubt that new advances will allow for wow. new things. Well, time will tell. Thank you very much, uh, Max, for joining us. Endlessly uh, fascinating. My pleasure. Thank you.